All right, and we have reached step six of the process, six steps to the winning pitch. And finally, it's all about the story, right, Justin? Right, John. So story is an area that I've been in for many years now. In fact, I wrote a book called The Astonishing Power of Story. Story is a very powerful tool for culture building, for uh, real inspiration within organizations, but as I discovered in sales as well. So stories are a very powerful way to get people into that buyer zone. Now, I could tell you why I think that is, but I could also demonstrate it for you. And I think that's probably going to be the best way. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to share a message with you, a sales message. And first, I'm going to share it with just facts and figures, mm -hmm. the way most people sell, mm -hmm. just features and benefits. And then I'm going to share the same message, but I'm going to share it as a story. And by the way, the other word for story is case study. You know, mm -hmm. it's a client case study. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's all it is. But, but see yourself where you're more likely to buy. So the sales message is on private health care. Uh, I know this is called different things in different countries. Sure. In South Africa, we call it medical aid. But I think we all get private health care, which in some countries more than others, uh, certainly in the U.S., would be, would be important. Europe, perhaps less so, where they've got good private health care. But I want you to imagine, or rather good pub, public-based uh, health care, but I want you to imagine that you're selling this in a country where maybe the public health care is not that great, uh, and and now you are a you're selling private healthcare, and you need to convince a young person, a healthy young person, to buy private healthcare uh, in 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 an environment where the public healthcare is is not very good. So let's do it the way most people would do it, just with the facts first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, private health care is really important. Uh, even if you are young, a disease may be unexpected. If you don't have private health care, you might come down not just with medical problems, you're going to have financial problems as well. And so it's really important to make sure that you've got that private health care in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So uh, story one. So as a young, if I was a young person, which I was once upon a time, um, um, what's what's the trait of young people, right? I'm indestructible, you know those kind of things. Yeah, exactly. All belong to the older older people. I don't need to worry about that. So what you told me thus far is like, yeah, I'll 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 take my chances. Exactly, exactly. Because once again, all you really got were the facts. So I'm going to give you the same. What is essentially the same message, but as a story. My friend Howard was. 24 years old, when he noticed these red flecks in his urine. He was a sportsman, fit guy, and he thought really that it was just a minor injury that would go away, but it didn't go away. Eventually, he decided to go and see a doctor, went to see a doctor, doctor didn't like what he saw, said he wanted to do some tests, did some tests, brought him back in, sat him down and said, Howard, you've got bladder cancer. 24 years old, you have bladder cancer. That's bad enough. But the next thing he said is when Howard put his head in his hands and started crying, he said, Howard, we've got to get you into a good private hospital so that we can get this thing sorted out as quickly as possible. Howard never had private health care. Young, healthy guy who just never saw the importance. Fortunately, after many months of treatment, he did get better. But to pay for that treatment, he had to sell his apartment to this day, he is still living with his parents. He has not recovered financially. The biggest cause of bankruptcy, of personal bankruptcy in our country today, is medical crisis. Wow. So now, if you're young without private yeah. health care, which of those two stories yeah. is more likely to motivate you to buy one, right? Well, yeah, like I said, the first one is uh, whatever, I'm, I'm indestructible. Um, the second one is, who? that sounds a bit nasty. There's a couple of things in there. Number one is obviously, my goodness, this could happen to a 24-year-old. Probably even more scary to a lot of young people is he's still living with his parents <laughs> in financial <laughs> difficulty, right? <laughs> so whichever, whichever is more, you know, that's probably even more so, God, oh, I don't want to be one of those people living with my parents. But yeah, the second one, you've created a whole range of doubts in my head now. 
Well, you know, when I do this as part of my presentation, my pitch doing presentation, John, I actually put slides up to show what's going on in the brain. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that first message, the brain is actually pretty inactive. Mm -hmm. When you look at the second message, you'll see activation in the brain, the visual cortex. You see John and his, uh, or rather Howard and his doctor, you'll see the the auditory cortex uh, of you know, actually hearing. The most important part of the brain for selling is actually the limbic system, the emotional part of the brain and that really lights up now the part that i'm most excited about that i that I, I spend a lot of time really getting people to understand is the mirror neuron network when you tell a story it wasn't really howard you were kind of going through that yourself yeah. you were in howard's shoes that's the mirror neuron. you know when you watch a film or reading a book and you become the hero mm -hmm. that's what happens with the story you're putting that potential client into a position where in this case what happens if they don't take your product? Or if you told a story, you could tell a success story when they did use your product and the cool things that have happened. Mm -hmm. So what story is, it's a virtual reality machine. That's what it is. It's putting you into that, 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 that whole experience of using or not using the product so that you can feel it for yourself. So it's not tell, it's, it's, it's not even show, it's experience mm -hmm. and there's nothing like experience to 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 get people to move yeah so you'll notice but also i never said buy private health care no in that second one i didn't say i didn't have to say it you would have made the decision yourself yeah, to buy, yeah. Right? yeah yeah i'd have been signing right there i would have been like number one i don't <laughs> want horrible things to happen and two i just don't want to be in my parents basement <laughs> 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 and, and, and I'll, I'll tell you the amazing thing about this, John, is that I th that story is a true story, mm -hmm. and and in fact that was a friend of mine. That was a friend mm -hmm. of mine when I was in my early twenties, which was a long, long time ago, mm -hmm. and thought that I didn't need yeah private healthcare, and that happened to him. And I'd had brokers try and sell me private healthcare before. I'd had that happen. Wasn't interested. When that happens, a friend of mine was like, wow, okay, this can happen to me, right? Because I kind of lived through it with him. Yeah. So that made me realize, hey, if we're going to move people, we need to move them through the power of example. We need to move them through that virtual reality machine, through that experience. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, this is Justin Cohen, and he is the author of the new book, uh, Six Steps to the Winning Pitch. Um, and he's just taken us through the six steps, and you can see them in this series of video. And just before we go, Justin, just tell everybody a little bit more about yourself and how they can contact you. Excellent. Thanks, John. Well, yes, the book coming out uh, very shortly, Pitch to Win. They can, in fact, sign up for a free Pitch to Win masterclass on my website, justinpresents.com. That's www.justinpresents.com. And uh, they can actually sign up for a Pitch to Win masterclass. And also on the website, there's a whole bunch of other resources, uh, both in sales, motivation, leadership. Uh, would love to connect with uh, some of your uh, listeners and viewers. Great. Listen, thanks, Justin. This is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. It's been a fantastic uh, little series of, of videos, and I hope you'll find them helpful when you go to do your next pitch.